Hi, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up um, video here on the MIE Productions Practical EDC Gear. Okay? I've been carrying this holster and this uh, mag carrier for about two months on and off. I haven't carried the mag carrier the whole time, but I have been carrying this on and off, okay? I'm not big on a mag carrier that is not attached to the holster, okay, because I do carry appendix, but that's just my preference. Um, but I will go over this as well. But let's get into this holster right here. Again, this is uh, MIE Productions. Okay, this one here is made for the Enforce APL. Okay, this is the Glock 23 with the uh, light on there. For me, this is a fine holster. It works great. It does its job. It has good retention. It has a, a click, you know. With this one, or these types of holsters, you're not going to get that trigger guard click. You're going to get a click around the light. Okay, so it's not as positive as some people might want. Um... I had a lot of people commenting and stuff like that on my other videos that I made prior to this one. Um, my first impressions and my retention videos. They had concerns about this trigger guard not being covered and having those openings. But you have to have that because of the light. The light sticks out past the trigger guard. So when you put it in there, you're going to have that gap. But that gap is not going to cause any malfunctions with the weapon or any uh, accidental discharges or anything like that. Believe me, I've tried to stick things in there and you can't even get to your trigger. Okay, so that's nothing to worry about. Um, the only thing I don't like about this, and it's just a preference again, there's no sweat guard. You can order them with a sweat guard. I'm just a sweat guard person. I like a sweat guard because I like to have that feel where you just knock it, put your weapon against something, and then you push it down in there without trying to just ring the hole here, okay? So that's just my personal preference. Um, I love the one clip design, the skinny clip. That's what I carry mainly on all my holsters anyway. So again, that's a personal preference there. So I really like the design. I really like the hold and the retention's great. It's not coming out unless you want it to come out. Okay, it does have retention screws here. Okay, and uh, with the light, you're always going to get some extra bulk on the on the holster, you know. But that's what you get when you decide to carry a light on you. Okay, but holster-wise, great. Again, the make production of it's real good. Again, the only uh, issue that or comments I had um, were pertaining to this uh, gap right here but again no issues at all no worries for me I would uh and I'm still gonna carry this thing you know without worrying about anything okay so good holster works has very high groove right here for those taller sights Okay, and it just works. That's plain and simple. It works, it's durable, and it, it does the job. So, that's my opinion. Okay, again, I carried it for about two months, a little over two months, on and off, and it's worked great for me. If you like it, if you uh, want to sweat guard just email them they'll uh put one on there for you they'll make one with a sweat guard i should say but um great little holster okay get this out of the way and let's get into this mag carrier again mag carriers i'm not a big mag carrier person if i am it's going to be attached to my holster okay and it's going to be uh right there up front appendix now i did wear this up front you know, but I just like the security of it being attached to my holster and this doesn't move around 
you know it all just stays as one unit so uh, I'd like to try one of theirs with the mag caddy attached to their holster and see how it does but uh, I'm just not a big mag carrier person when it's not attached but this one felt good okay it's uh it's a little larger here you know but that's because the clips on the side some of them have the clips right here on the front so they could be a little thinner but it was comfortable you know nothing uh I didn't like about it you know other than it's not for me okay um, it does take more room, especially if you're going to wear this, wear it on the side. I tried wearing it on the side. I'm not a side mag caddy carrier person at all. Okay, I got to have mine up front with my gun. So that's that's just me. All right. So and I would love to be able to attach this to this uh, holster here and have me a a mag caddy attached to it then it would probably be great for me but uh well, I'll look out and maybe reach out to them and see what they say see if they make something like that I'm sure they do everybody's making them that way and see if he'll send me one out to try but um, great little mag carrier um, you cannot change it from your right side to your left side so um, you can actually wear it there but if the thing is if it's uh how you want your magazine or not. Right now the bullets are facing one way. It's got the um, indentions right here so you can't take it and change it up you know and put it this way or something like that. It's going to be one way at all times you know which could be a downfall for some people but most time this is the correct way or the proper way I should say or the way that most people carry their mags anyway with their rounds facing that way okay but again great clip system great hardware I love these uh, single clips with the narrow um, being narrow like this and they work great retention great retention you do have a click this is a 40 cal right here it's a little wider so it does uh, it has a more retention to it compared to my 9 millimeter. Let me grab my 9 millimeter mag. Okay, there you go. You can hear that click of that 9. You can hear that too. It's just. There we go. But very nicely made again. Very quality product. And a great combo. Okay, so if you're interested in a light bearing holster, okay, and a mag carrier, this is a great option. MIE Productions, um, I can't complain. I haven't had any issues with the function, functionability of it or anything like that. All the edges are nice and smooth, very quality made. Check them out if you're interested in a um, light bearing holster for the Enforce. I will be doing another video with a light bearing holster from MIE Productions for the Olight PL Mini. Okay, so keep an eye out for that video. I should be putting it out shortly, okay? So, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below. Bye.